Here you come You're in for a treat From Virginia to Maine You'll find cuisine That can't be beat Should you choose Boston Or Manhattan chowder Tell them to bring on the feast Great times, great food, great taste Great chefs of the east So pull up a chair Get ready to die The Chesapeake Bay soft shells they say Are simply divine It's time to let go Let your palate wander Tell them please bring on the feast Great times, great food, great taste Great chefs of the Welcome to Great Chefs of the East, a celebration of regional cookery featuring some of the leading chefs from the East and Northeast. This time, an appetizer from Washington, D.C. by Jean-Louis Paladin, chef owner of Jean-Louis at Watergate. From Philadelphia, an entree from Jack McDavid, chef owner of Jack's Firehouse. And from New York City, dessert from JoJo's and chef Jean-Georges Van Gerichten. Jean-Louis Paladin is a star not only in Washington, but nationally, too. His restaurant, Jean-Louis at Watergate, has become at least as famous, for less turbulent reasons, as the hotel that houses it. The first course is indicative of a menu, celery soup with a pear mirepoix and shad roe. Chef Jean-Louis trims a bulb of celery root or celeriac. It tastes like a cross between celery and parsley and is grown for the root, not the leaves. He rubs it with lemon to prevent discoloration. We go in, we cut in the celery root. The root is cut into a large dike. In square. The chef also slices a large shallot. One shallot, we have some onion. We have the potato in the water. We take some olive oil. We add the shallot and the onion together. We sear it for about uh, three, four minutes. A little bit of lemon juice. Take the potato. We add the celery and the potato together. Some time. Two, two cups of consomme. This is a reduced rich veal stock. And one cup of cream. We cook it, we're gonna cook that for about 30 minutes. After a half hour, the chef proceeds. After 30 minutes, we are ready to strain and to mix the celery root and the potato. We put everything in a, in a mixer. After all the liquid is added to the blender, the mixture is strained. A 
Okay, the soup need salt and pepper. A second major component for the finished dish is Virginia shad roe. What we are uh, taking now, some shad roe. Shad roe from, um, from a river in uh, Virginia. And what, what I'm going to do, just salt and pepper the shad and cook it in olive oil. Right now is the season of the shad. The shad, the shad roe, uh, if you cook it, you need to cook it very, very slowly because they are uh, eggs and you don't want, you don't want, uh, you don't want to go too fast because every, everything going to break. The final flavor factor in this inventive dish is diced fresh pear. Celery root and pear uh, are going very, very good together. Shad is the largest of the hundreds of fish in the herring family. They average three to five pounds and are prized on the East Coast for their eggs or roe. The shad roe, you don't want to overcook them because when it's overcooked, look like a uh, scrambled egg and is uh, not, not very good to eat. Now I'm going to saute the pear. The diced pear is sauteed in a little olive oil prior to presentation. You take the pear on the, the bottom of the plate, you cut the shad, put on the top of the pear. Shad roe is beautiful. Just cook the right way. Now, we are taking the soup and putting the soup into the plate. We don't want to hide the shad roe. The final garnish includes lobster eggs and chives. Little bit of uh, lobster coral and chive. And enjoy the soup. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. 